We will be installing a few tools we will probably be needing as we progress in our adventures. First, we will download Anaconda from anaconda.com. Simply click on the download button on the home page. Double click on the installer we downloaded. We will select the default options for the first few steps and click next through each one. So on this one, it says adding to path is not recommended, but clearing the package cache is recommended. So I guess we will check the one that is recommended and then click install. This part can take a while. Go for a walk or something? We will be using Anaconda to create virtual environments for each Python project so that we don't have version conflict issues since some projects require certain versions of dependencies while others require a different version. With Anaconda, we will be able to keep each project in its own little world with its own installation of dependencies for its own specific versions of those dependencies. TLDR Anaconda makes life easier, in my opinion. Once this completes, click Next and then Finish. We will next download and install Git. Go to the Git-SCM website and click on Download for Windows. Then click on 64-bit Git for Windows setup. Now double-click on the Git installer we downloaded. Select all the default options and click Next. I chose not to get the Credential Manager, so I selected None here. Continue clicking Next and then Install. With Git installed, we will be able to easily download projects from GitHub. Once the install completes, click Finish. Let's check if Git got installed by pressing Windows and the R key at the same time, or typing Run in the Start menu to bring up the Run command. Then type CMD and hit OK to bring up the command prompt. Here we can type git space dash v to check the version of git. If this shows a version, then git is installed. Next, let's check Anaconda. Go to the start menu and type Anaconda. You should see Anaconda prompt. I am going to pin it to the taskbar for easy access. Now you can click on it and it opens the Anaconda prompt, confirming Anaconda is installed. Now let's check if Spider is installed. Go to the start menu, type Spider, and click on the app. This is a program that we can use to write and test Python code eventually, and comes built in with the Anaconda install. There will be some projects that require FFmpeg, so let's install that. Go to the FFmpeg.org site and click Download. Click the Windows icon. Click on a Windows build link under the Windows EXE Files section. Scroll down to Release Builds and select the full release file, I think. It looks like this requires 7-zip to extract, so let's install 7-zip. Go to the 7-zip site shown here and click on Download for 64-bit. Double-click the 7-zip installer. Simply click Install and it is done. Now we can right-click on the 7z file and extract it. Select 7-zip and extract here. This will create a new folder with the files in it. I am going to move these files to a more convenient location. Now we can also add the path of the bin folder where the exe files are to our system path so that we can execute FFmpeg from any folder. Copy the bin folder path. Click Start and type Environment. Click on Edit the System Environment Variables. Click Environment Variables. Select Path and click Edit. Click New. And paste the path here. Now click OK on the open windows. We can test the install through the command prompt, or we can also use the anaconda prompt. I will use the anaconda prompt. 
Type FFmpeg, and if you see version information, then it is installed. Let's also check the Python install by clicking on Anaconda prompt. Type Python, space, dash, dash, version, and hit enter. If you see a version, then Python was successfully installed with Anaconda. Finally, let's check Jupyter Notebook, which we can also use to write code and test machine learning apps. Open the prompt and type Jupyter with a Y, space, notebook, and hit enter. It should open a browser that looks like this. Now let's test Jupyter Labs, which is similar but a different interface. Go back to this prompt and tap Control and the C key at the same time to stop the server. You might have to uh, press it multiple times. Now type Jupyter space lab and hit enter. The browser should open to a screen like this. We have now finished installing the main tools we will be using to work with projects in the future.